Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charms to Sai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charms for you guys in the viewerverse. I'm going to be uh, debriefing my frigates. Yeah, I know, it's, it's not all that riveting, is it? But I'm after the expansion sacks for my freaking living ship. Will I get one? I got a Cygnotic Egg in this batch. Neural doubt, no. No, I didn't get one that time. Yeah, the spawning sacks is what I'm after, really, people. Let's head on over to the next console. Come on. Will I get lucky? Will I get winner, winner? Chicken dinner. Vortex cube? No, you're not what I wanted. Dang it! Okay, right, next terminal. Come on. Third time lucky. Free. It's the magic number. Come on, Fever Ray. Okay, here we go. And... No. Oh, sign on the cake. Yeah, brilliant. And anything else? Anything else? Come on. Gek Relic. No, didn't get one there. Didn't get one there. Got the Sack of Venom. Hmm. Right, okay. I need to sell some of this junk. I've got two of the uh, spawning sacks already, which is pretty cool. I've got quite a big batch of the Cyanotic Egg. Hmm. But yeah, it's the expansion slots for the actual living ship because they've got loads of room. Loads. So I need loads of those. Right, okay. Let's, let's jump on over to this side and let's see if we get any more luck. Organic? Okay, no, no. It's the corrupted missions that you've got to keep an eye out for, peeps. Right, oh, let's hit up this one then. Let's see how we do now. Come on, this is the last one. Come on. I would love to see what happened with inside of this so I can show the view of us. And any corrupted missions? Oh, and no. Great. Um, well, that didn't go swimmingly well, but I got some sport. I got the other ones, you know, the cyanotic egg. I got those. Let's sell some of this junk that I don't need. Let's just clean this up. Speed of editing. There we go. Pow, pow. Dundly done. Righto. Okay, well, tomorrow then, chums. Okay, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's tomorrow already for you guys. You know, I had to actually wait and stuff. But you guys, power of editing and all that. Okay, brilliant. We've got a corrupted mission straight away there. And we've got nothing. Okay. Well, that's a repeat of bloody yesterday, isn't it? I'm fairly sure I got a gold object off the first freaking mission yesterday. And there's a, one of those cyanotic eggs as well. Fusion accelerant. Oh, cyanotic egg there. Right, brilliant. And no, nothing there. Okay, third time lucky. Three. It's a magic number. Well, it wasn't yesterday, was it? No, <laughs> three did nothing yesterday. Okay, here we are. Cyanotic egg, Albion Pearl. And another. Oh, got a cyanotic egg and and a spawning sack. Yes, that was a triumphant mission. Yes, brilliant. HM LTD brought it home. Yes, you brought home the bacon. HM. LTD. My gun is effing loaded. Heck yes it is. Let's go down here. So if you don't know people, I've named, I've named all of my frigates after bands out there inside of the verse. And that's just one of the actual favourite songs by HMLTD. And um, I didn't get another one there. But you know what? I've got three of them now. Let's go and stick them inside of the living ship and just see how that actually looks. Is it one spawning sack per slot? Because if so, we're going to be here for freaking months. All right, fine. Where is my living ship? I don't see it in the hangar, so let's just call it in. right oh, and boom. Oh, it's already out, apparently. It's hiding somewhere, people. Where are you? Oh, I see its antennae over there. It's hiding behind this giant post. All right, fine. Let's go and interact with it. As you can see here, it's white and red. Very nice. My colours and deedy doody. Heck yes. But it doesn't look white and red on the side of this screen, which is a bit of a shame, but it's just pure white. Okay, fine. Anyhow, let's um let's get those all hatched and let's get all the technology there. Technology! Brilliant. And um, we need to install all of this stuff. But first I want to put in the sacks. I want to increase the storage. Here we go. Spawning sack. Brilliant. Now I'm going to go for the organ chamber, which is the technology area. Let's stick these into there. Hold on, I only had three. Why is it letting me just go to frickin' town on this? I am in creative mode, but even still, that shouldn't be a thing. All right, fine. Not licking a gift horse in the mouth. Brilliant. There we go, people. Well, I guess if you have got spawning sacks, try them on your organ chamber first and see if you get this happen. Let me know if this happens in other game modes, people, because that's frickin' weird, isn't it? Okay, lovely. <laughs> well... Fantastic Mondo. Right, okay, now we can start. Yeah, I've still got three left as well. It didn't even use one. What the actual fudge? 
maybe that's a little bug. Maybe it's a little exploit. I don't know. I'm in creative mode. Let me know if this works in like normal mode or something. I've already upgraded my living ship in normal mode, so I can't test it myself. Right, oh, here we go. Let's put these over here. Now, if you've got a C-class, if you hover over it, it says evolve using X on PlayStation. You can just evolve it using nanites. And because I'm in creative, it's, it, it doesn't do it. Yeah, it's fine. Brilliant. So here we go. I'm just going to move all these around. Now, if you put the ones with similar pictures or exact same pictures on them next to each other you get what's called an adjacency bonus and you'd see that they sort of match in coloration if they've all clicked together correctly now inside of your technology you can have three sort of s class modules bolted onto a technology module so four in a little tile and then out inside your general area or your sack or organ sack area or whatever you want to call it yeah you can put three additional ones there before they actually break so i'm just sort of like clamming them all together like that and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and all that sort of shenanigans, we're done. Boom! Look at those! Look at those stats, people, in the view of us! Yeah, that's freaking awesome, isn't it? Lovely jubbly. But the only thing is, at the moment, you already get sort of like phase cannons and photon cannons, but look at all this additional slottage inside of the organ chamber. I honestly think with that much free space in the organ chamber, hopefully Hello Games are going to induce into... Ooh, look at that! UI alien in error i wonder if there is a bug related to the capacities and i wonder if that was a bit of an exploit that i just did anyway what i was saying about the organ chamber and there's loads of free space there what i'd like to hope is hello games might be planning out bringing in new technologies for the living ship when it comes to alien sort of weaponry i'd love to have sort of like a weapon that you fire out these boogers and it sticks to the enemy's shield and slowly eats it you know even when you're not tracking it that'd be pretty cool it'd be nice if there were homing boogers as well <laughs> anyhow let's um i'm looking for the station i think this is in one of those yes this is in one of those data unavailable areas there's no freaking station here captain all right well i'm going to turn off my multiplayer then i'm going to fly inside of the nexus normally i would sell these modules inside of the station but if there isn't a station available you can sell them to a vendor inside of the nexus i know right what vendor you're probably wondering it's aries aries you know the little bubble-headed dude he's over this way we're front up the stairs and we'll go give them to aries as I'm running past the Quicksilver Agent, I usually give it a quick little glance to see how we get him with the progress bar. And it looks like we're quite, quite close to unlocking that last light trails, or engine trails, ship trails, engine trails, for our freighter! So yeah, I'll be checking back on that later this eve, perhaps. I think it might unlock tomorrow, but we shall see. Right, anyway, then you just go to purchase upgrades in this free tree here. Hello there, bubbly hello Aries. Aries in, in Greek mythology, god of war. He doesn't look like he's ready for war, does he? Anyway, let's delete all of this. Well, it's not deleting, it's selling. We sell decated them all and we got ourselves a shed load of nanites, people. So that's awesome. Till next time, people, you've been great. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.